y'all. Happy, happy Thursday. I got dominoes for my dinner tonight. This is uh, Lori. Thank you. I used uh, some of my gift cards to get this. I wasn't going to cook tonight, so I ordered me a Philly sandwich from Domino's. And this is what I'm getting ready to have for my dinner tonight. And I put a drink on deck. I got to do me some Coke Zero. Yes, I do. Anyway, let me say my grace. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food I'm about to receive. For nourishing my body. In Christ's name, amen. Lord, thank you for allowing me to um, make this work week. So, y'all, my sinuses is giving me the blues. You know how it be when you can't sleep with your mouth open and my nose kept getting stopped up. My sinus is draining. Ugh. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day, y'all. So, today my baby birthday. She's 25 days. I just got done talking to her. Well, I talked to her first thing this morning. And just got through talking to her again. And she told me, this was your best day of your life. Children. Okay. But I told her I was real proud of her. I made a post on Facebook for the person she is and continues to grow to be. You know, make sure she always know that I love her. Even though when I have to say something incorrect, I will. I don't have a problem with it. I still love her. And that um, I um, want her to enjoy life. Because she only got one life to live. And that's for anybody out there. Like I told her, you know, without God, we made it. It wasn't just me and her alone. You know, and with God, everything is sweeter. You know, and as you get older, you learn to appreciate the good and the bad in your life. Everybody across your life is a lesson learned. So, but I hope everybody's having a good Valentine's Day. And you're not feeling some type of way if you don't have a significant other in your life. Mm. Treat yourself special. You know, whether it be going to get you a sandwich or making yourself something, pampering yourself at home, know that you love God, truly loves you. Love on yourself some today, too. And. If people in your life, make sure you tell them that you love them. And if you got kids, you know, if you celebrate this holiday, make sure to do something special for your children. So, they'll know what it is to receive something special. It doesn't always have to come from a significant other. My daughter said I gave her a little lunch and it to work. So I thought that was kind. So, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but my nose is running. What y'all think about? I was kind of glad I'll tell you my one big brother. She played that game. She, she played well. And I was glad to see that it wasn't all been out of shape. And they gave her the win. Ricky was a little strange, though, to be honest with you. I don't really know what Ricky's strategy was at all. So, anyway. Yeah. This morning, it had to be 3, like 3.30 something. I got up to use the restroom. And as I was sitting there, I wasn't, you know, just had to go have a Number one, real quick, my bladder had gotten full. And I was sitting there, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, and y'all, I promise y'all, I only ever heard this song as a little girl at my grandmother's church. I mean, I had to be real young. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, and I just started singing. And when I got back to my 
chair because I sit, I sit up in the chair like because I couldn't breathe. I slept with my mouth open. I couldn't hurry up and breathe last night. And I, um, so this song popped in my head. Do y'all, we come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word. He never failed me yet. Don't ask. I don't, I don't know where it came from. And I was just, I was like, why am I singing this song? Oh. Um, I wasn't particularly thinking about anything of any significance, but I don't know. It just popped in my head. I wonder if they still sing that song. It was in an old Baptist church that, you know, this song was good. I probably could have put some steak sauce or something on it, but some Franks or something. Ugh, I'm so tired of my nose running, y'all. Uh, I picked the wrong time to be trying to come down with something. But I gotta go and go because I can't get no refund, so. Hopefully within the next two days because I leave Saturday morning. I don't have to work tomorrow. I got some stuff to do, but I hope I can hope this stuff can dry up or something before they know. So what y'all having for dinner today? Something good? Something special? Are y'all going out to the restaurants? Braving all the crap? I guess I don't pay attention sometimes when I'm driving because they're building the checkers up here on Germantown Parkway. But I used to go to Old Charlie's all the time when I first moved out here with my daughter. And I just happened to look up the day and I saw a for sale sign out there at the restaurant. And then I noticed all the signs and everything were taken down. I must have lost something in it there. I don't even know when they closed. How long they been closed? Does anybody know? And is it just that location? Two of my coworkers, of course, I hadn't read it, came over and told me that they're going to. Um, Amazon pulled out. They're not going to put their place in um, New York now. I'm not. I wasn't paying them close attention to where they were going to be. I know they got a fulfillment center they were going to put here. But I didn't know. You know, it's a little test. But I didn't know what locations they had ultimately chosen for. Wherever. I didn't know New York. But to have anything in New York, I'm sure it's very expensive. You know. So. All right. Okay. I can't afford no Amazon stock. I wish I could, but I can't. Anyway. Y'all, um, and you know who I'm talking to. I just read your email today. I fact, I had a couple of emails that I had in the queue to read. I got two I have to answer, but one of our family members in particular, um, I think her baby's one, her youngest is one. She has other kids, but um, she recently told me that she had a heart attack. She's a, uh, in the healthcare field. She says she got home, so I'm praying for you. I'm not going to call your name, but just know I'm praying for you, and you know that God is able. And so, and you take these next six months, and like you said, enjoy your babies, enjoy your family, your husband, because all the extra stress in life, it's not worth it. 
Oh, I'm so tired. My nose running. Man, excuse me, y'all. I apologize. But, y'all, if you in a relationship, do you expect something for Valentine's Day from your significant other or the person you're in a relationship for in. Um, do you give something for Valentine's Day? Some of the guys were real sweet. Made sure they came around and said Happy Valentine's Day, which I thought was very nice that I work with. And so I said, well, happy Valentine's Day to you too. And I guess it kind of caught them off guard. So do men not expect women to say that to them? I know a lot of men don't feel like it's a holiday for them. But love is in the air. You know, this sandwich was good. All right, wait a couple more hours if I can take some more medicine. But I'm going to take some, but I'm going to get up here and wrap up in a blanket because I'm, I got to chill. I'm going to knock this heat up a little bit. And then, uh, and here, but I, uh, was watching one of KC Connections Muck Moms where she had fixed some um crawfish bread. And that's what I, I've been wanting. I don't make it just here for me. In fact, I've never made it. Don't, don't let me straighten that out. I've only ever had it at a restaurant. But um, the video I watched of the young lady that made it, it was seen rather simple, but so I might try to make some, but I hope I can get me some when I go to New Orleans Saturday. It's supposed to be 70 degrees there. 68, that's 70 degrees all day to me. But anyway, thank y'all for joining me. Excuse me. And again, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed night. Know that you're loved. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. I was going to show y'all something. Oh, one minute. I'll be right back. Let me move this box. So, y'all, this is the t-shirt. I finally got one. And I have it in red, but I'm going to order it in another color. It's several colors you can order it from. Uh, I love you. God loves you most. And um, you can order it in several colors. I'll leave the link up here somewhere if you want to order it. And it's also a discount code in the description box. But I'm going to give two of these away. Not this month because you know it's the cruise giveaway when I come back and post my cruise give uh, blog this month. But it'll be in March. I'll be giving two of these t-shirts away. But you can also order. And like I say, they come in several different colors. And that's all it says is, I love you. God loves you most. Anyway, y'all have a good night. Bye.